It's possible to remove a server or domain controller that may not have been cleanly removed when you went to demote that particular server. So you can see here, I have a server called DC2. Now DC2 is a domain controller, but I'm gonna pretend that I need to yank this out of Active Directory because that server is unbootable and will no longer be able to be part of the Active Directory network. Now I can simply just right click on it and choose to delete it and then Go ahead and click yes and choose to delete this domain controller anyway it's permanently offline now what's supposed to happen is it's supposed to delete the metadata that goes with it metadata is any hidden information that you wouldn't normally see when you're looking at something so for instance when you're looking at a book the some of the metadata might be the author might be the date that it was created might be the copyright information all that's metadata and domain controllers have metadata that you don't normally see as well but if that server is not cleanly removed, then that metadata will stick and you won't be able to properly ever get rid of it, which will slow down your network and possibly compromise its security. So what we need to do is to go into a command prompt. Many years ago, Microsoft took a lot of phone calls in Seattle. Of course, nowadays, most of those calls go to India and other countries. But in the late 1990s, those calls mainly came into Seattle. And the sysadmins in Seattle that were taking those calls would end up getting these types of calls all the time that objects would not cleanly remove, especially domain controllers. So in the early 2000s, they created this utility called NTDS Util, and that stands for New Technology Domain Services Utility. And this will do all of that stuff for us with just several commands that we can do from this command prompt, rather than the 25 to 30 steps that it would normally take them to do this. So after typing in NTDS Util, in order to clean up our metadata, I'm gonna type in the word roles. And then the word connections, because I need to connect to my domain controller that's still in operation. So I'm gonna type in connect to server, and then the name of the server, and press enter. And what that did was it allowed me to connect to the server. So when I clean up the metadata, it will clean it from the domain controller I'm going to keep online. So I'm going to type Q for quit. That takes us up one level. And Q for quit again. That takes us up another level. So now I'm back to the main level when I first typed in NTDS Util. If I type in the question mark, it gives me a list of all the different utilities that I can run from NTDS Util. And you see one of those towards the middle of the screen is metadata cleanup. So metadata cleanup is going to allow us to remove the DC2 server very cleanly so it will no longer be part of my network. So I'll type in metadata cleanup and press enter. Next, I want to type the question mark just to see the list of the different things we can type in. And I'm going to select the operation target. And that's the option at the bottom. And once I do that, I need to go ahead and list all the different information about the server I want to get rid of. So if I press the question mark again, I get a new list here. So you can see the select information and then the list information. So the first thing I want to do is I want to list the sites that are in the organization. And you can see I have just one site. So now I need to select it. So I'll type in select site zero. Now you can see that the site has been selected, but the domain and the server and the naming context have not. I don't need to worry about adding in the naming context, but I do need to list the domain and the server. So I'm gonna to go to the next step. The next step is going to be to list the domains. So list domains. So you can see it found one domain. So I'm gonna type in select domain, once again, zero. So now I've selected my site and my domain. Now I need to select the server. So I'm going to type in list servers in site. And it shows me two servers. So the server I want to delete is DC2. So that's going to be selection number one, not selection zero. So I'm going to type in select server one. Now, everything has been selected. Again, the naming context is not important. So I'm just going to go up a level. And the Q takes me up to metadata cleanup. So now I can type in remove selected server. 
It says, you sure you want to do this? Yes, I do. And now it's done. DC2 is no longer a part of my Active Directory. So I can just press Q a couple of times, takes me back to the command prompt. And now I'm going to go back into Active Directory Users and Computers and just confirm that DC2 is gone. I'm in Active Directory Users and Computers. I'm going to press the refresh and DC2 is now gone. I have successfully cleaned up the metadata that was keeping DC2 in my Active Directory network.